Hi, everyone. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a Timeless Collective Love Reading. This is a no contact, no communication reading. We want to ask Spirit today, what is your person thinking and feeling? What guidance does Spirit have for you today um, in this connection? Where is this connection headed? What are their intentions? Any Anything Spirit can help with um, guiding you, of course. These readings are always for you first, even though we want to know what our person is thinking and feeling. Spirit, welcome to anybody who's been guided here. This is for all signs and any sign of the person that you're thinking of. Anybody that has been guided here, please, Spirit, what is it that you need them to hear? I am listening for you now. Let's see what we have. I have the universe. The universe is guiding you to that special person. Allow everything to take its natural course. Boy, that's a, that's a hard one, right? Because you want to try to make the, the universe work a little faster. Sometimes we, we want to, you know, initiate something. You want to call them. You want to reach out to them. You want to um, ask them to um, respond to you, please, to talk to you, please. If they're not ready to talk, then it is in the universe's hands. If they want to talk, they are going to reach out to you. So it's a it's a feeling of a catch-22. I want to hear from them. I want to talk to them. Um, but do I just let the universe work or do I try to take it into my old own hands and try to initiate something? So some of you could be on the fence with, you know, should I call them? Should I reach out to them? You know, something along those lines. And I have deeply, look deeply within to discover your soul's purpose in this relationship. What is this connection? Where are we headed? What kind of connection is it? Do you know deeply in your heart if it's a soulmate connection, a twin flame connection? Do you understand um, that type of relationship? Are you learning about that relationship? So keep doing the work, look deeply within, and let's get one more of these, a temptation. Think carefully about the situation. You could be really tempted to just pick up the phone and call them just because you are just tired of waiting and you just need to know. But is that the right thing for you to do? Is are you should it be that the other person should be calling you? And if you really feel strongly that that person owes you an apology, that person, if that person wants to be in your life, they, they will uh, reach out to you. They want to talk. They will show up. So you have to decide. It's almost a, um, I guess, don't give in to temptation. You know, don't get give in. If you're, if you're having a hard time with it today, just say, well, maybe tomorrow, you know, and try to do it literally like one day at a time energy. Like I can't, I can't, um, I'm having a hard time not reaching out to them. Um, and, but the best thing for this connection is for them to come back to me. So let's, let's see if you can hold off on that temptation to, uh, I guess, give in before you're right, before the universe has worked, because if you want that person to come back long term and they should be the one reaching out, they should be the one apologizing. I feel like we have to surrender today. So welcome back, everybody. Welcome to um, anybody that's new. Thank you for joining me. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below if you um, want to claim this reading. Spirit, please share with me. I, I, I feel like my energy is, I'm, I don't want to use the word desperate, but I am anxious. I am um, wanting to know what they're thinking and feeling. Like if I could get in their head, if I could um, just talk to them, hear their voice, I would know what I'm supposed to do next. So it is a feeling of I'm just struggling with the unknown or the limbo. And sometimes we have to just wait it out, unfortunately. Let's see what they're saying. So I have on the on the table, I have a son, um, Knight of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, and Two of Swords. And the first thing that came into me was I guess letting down my heart, opening up my heart, certainly being able to receive this energy coming back into your life. If you're the one blocking them, if you're the one not allowing them to come back because you're not ready, 
you know, are you getting to a place in time where you can let down your guard a little bit and at least be willing to try again, you know, or talk about trying again? It doesn't mean that you have to agree to it, but you may discuss it. You may say, well, what's going to change? What's going to be different? We both have to give more. We both have to put more time and effort into this connection. I can feel that. I can feel that. Um, it, it's a weight pulling on me. It's almost this, this feeling of, I can't give any more. You've got to meet me halfway energy. So if the person wasn't meeting you halfway, then we're going to be right back where we were. And that will be the fear that nothing has changed. And we have to know that we have to work a little bit harder at this. I do feel a shift. I do feel, um, the energy shifting and moving in the right direction. Clarification on my eight, please, Spirit. Can you share with me what you mean by that? I have a five of pentacles. The hard times, we can get through these hard times. We can move ahead. All right, so I've got a forward movement. I do. I, I have a forward movement. I have a change of... Um, I'm going to say change of mind, okay, change of mind, change of direction, um, you know, we can change just came into me, we can make this work just came into me. So there's a feeling of we can make the changes. And there is a feeling of your your person wanting to make those changes, which is half the battle, doing the work, putting the effort in you know, just a feeling of, of, um, I'm willing to do the work. I guess I want to say it that way. I feel like the break has helped you both. I feel like the break has helped you realize that we have to have more give and take that we have to, um, communicate more spirit just said, be more open with our feelings, um, not hold everything in. I, there's the, um, look at even the little door, like, I need to open up my feelings more. I need to let you in. I need to share with you. So if this is somebody that has been, I guess, keeping their feelings close to their chest, they haven't really been telling you what they're thinking. And then all of a sudden, one day they say, I'm just not happy. And it comes out of nowhere. Um, that's probably um, something we need to work on. Obviously, six of cups and a 10 of wands. This is harder than I thought it would be is how it just came into me. It's like I keep thinking back to what went right, what went wrong, and what we can be doing differently. So it's harder than we think, but relationships are hard work. Relationships are not easy. I mean, yes, some people are, are lucky and it's a little bit easier than other relationships, but everybody has their um, troubling times or difficult days, something like that. I have a fool. I want to start over. That's how it's coming into me. I, I definitely feel like um, temperance. Uh, I want peace and serenity. I don't want to fight with you anymore. If you guys have been fighting or there's been some anxiety in this connection. So I definitely feel like, can we start over? And is it open? Are we open to are we open to, you know, making it work? You know, this could be a relationship where we don't have um, something tragic that happened. We don't have affairs. We don't have, um, you know, something that was very hard to forgive. We have maybe miscommunication is how I feel. We have, I wish you communicate with me better. I wish that you would share with me your feelings. I wish you wouldn't be so distant is coming into me. So right now I've got this, I will put some more effort into this. I want to know spirit, what are their feelings? Where, where are we headed? I want us to build our lives up even in separation. When you are in separation, the best thing that you can do for yourself, we talk about this every day, um, is you lift your head high, okay? Your self-worth, your self-esteem, your goals, your ambitions, things that you are that are important to you, your self-development, your everything. Because if they come back to the same person, you're going to be right back where you left off. They've got to grow and you've got to grow. So work on growing in the separation. Use this time for you. You know, it's sad and it's hard, but use this time for you. 
Um, I feel like an idiot walking away from you like that. You are all I've ever wanted. And I just threw it all away because I got scared, you know, so are they admitting? I mean, where's my door? Where's my little door here? Here's my page. Um, look at the little door. You know, if, if all that's coming out of this separation is an admittance, okay, of I was a fool. I was a fool for walking away. I got scared. And now I want to talk. I want to open that door. I want to I don't know, get back in your head, get back in your heart, you know, and just see where we can take it from here and just, you know, chalk it up as a mistake, chalk it up as, you know, we'll get through this and stuff happens, you know, stuff happens in relationships. You are the light in my darkness, keep shining bright so I can come back home. Oh, I like that one even better. That That's, you know, if this door is my home. If this door is my home, you know, it, it's, I don't know, you're guiding me somehow. You're guiding me. How about I was a better person when I was with you? Or I realized that, you know, my life is more organized or I, I just take better care of myself when you're in my life. It could be as simple as that. But I also like this feeling of, keep shining bright so I can come back home. I, I want you to come back home. Let's manifest that today. If you want your person to come back home um, physically because you live together or um, just uh, emotionally, I want you to be home with me. I want you to manifest that. I want you to claim that, you know, please come back home. Um, something along those lines today. Make sure you focus on yourself first when you rise, raise your vibration by just doing what you love. You will attract me back in. They want you to focus on you. They don't want you to be waiting around for them and just, um, you know, wallowing, which I don't think you are, but you don't want to be, you want to be happy as best you can while you're waiting for this person. So when they come back, like I said, that the light that attracted them to you in the first place, they see in you again, but they see it shining even brighter. How about that? Something even better. I feel stuck in a toxic situation. I just can't move right now. So they could be trying to get out of something, whether it's an emotional uh, tie, a karmic energy, or it's something that they have to do. They have to take care of before this connection can come back. I was thinking about reaching out to you, but then I panicked and stopped myself. I feel very insecure. I, I will say that I feel that energy on both sides. I feel that you want, would like to reach out to them and they want to reach out to you. And it's this little bit of a game of chicken. And we're struggling with, you know, what's right, what's wrong, who's supposed to talk to who first. Um, but if you feel like this person needs to come back to you, they've got to come home to you is how spirit's saying it. I really feel like you've got to um, wait for them to reach out to you right now. I miss you regardless of how things seem, okay? Even if I'm pretending that my life is perfect without you and I've moved on, I don't feel that. I feel like they miss you. I feel like they're struggling. I mean, all of those things. Um, I'm changing my mind in the direction of um, how do I come back home to you and how do we make things work? And even just the energy of somebody wanting to put in the work, you know, if somebody's done with a relationship, they're done. They don't want to try again. They don't want to work things out. They want you to move on and they'll keep saying, move on. I don't want you, you know, so that's not what I'm feeling today. I'm feeling like you're, you're my light. You're my light still. I was better with you. Um, and I want to find my way home to you today. So cutting tart, there's something going on here with, I feel stuck. I feel stuck in a toxic situation. I just can't move right now. So do they need to cut a karmic tie before they come back to you? Is there something that is significant in this connection that unless that karmic tie is cut, you know, that 
it's just not going to work because it keeps interfering with this connection. So they've got to cut those karmic ties. Spirit, will they cut those ties? I have balance. I want more balance in my life. I want more peace in my life, they're saying. Our friends. I miss our friends. I miss our group. I miss... How about just you're my friend, you know, and usually that's what happens. They miss the person that they love to talk to. They miss the person that um, is always there for them to share their day with. And I made a mistake. I made an error. Okay, so let's see. Where's my um, where is my feelings of coming home? Right. I made a mistake. Um I'm still struggling with this. You are my light. Okay. Keep shining bright so I can come back home. Are they ready to admit their errors? Your errors, their errors, you know, is there mistakes on both sides? Can we have apologies on both sides? Can we have forgiveness on both sides? I, I would say that that's something I, we're both willing to work at. There's no perfect relationship spirit just said. Um, we have to focus on the love. We have to focus on we still love each other. Okay, so that is what I want to hold on to for a minute because we have to get rid of some kind of toxic energy, okay, um, so that we can focus on this love. There, there. If there's something interfering with this, it could be anything. It could be an addiction. It could be somebody's emotional health. It could be um, interference from a third party um, that is like an ex, even though it wasn't a cheating situation. I'm not feeling a cheating situation. Uh, it could be I'm, I, this person needs some healing. Absolutely. They need to find themselves again, rebuild their strength, their self-esteem, um, build themselves up again. Um, hmm. Leave your film here. That's coming into me. It's just like all the memories. Like I just keep reliving our memories. I keep thinking about our memories. I'm trying to make some money. I'm trying to um, build myself up again. The person who pushed you away because they said, I've got to work on myself right now. I'm not where I want to be. So changes, right? making changes. They're making changes in their life so that they can possibly, you know, make this work. But cutting the karmic ties, I feel like, is very important. Spirit, please share with me. What is it that you want me to hear today? Let's say I have an eight of wands. This could change very quickly I, with that eight. This moving back towards you, coming back towards you. I want to talk to you. Look at, like, uh, my path is, like, leading towards you. You know, this path that I'm on is to head in the direction of even just talking Two of Cups, I feel like you're still the person I want to be with. I still desire you. So I don't feel like I want to be with anybody else. I don't feel like your person right now is thinking about being with anyone else. If anything, they're just working on themselves. They're just trying to find their way um, back into you know, this relationship and figuring out how we can repair it. They could be focusing on their work. Ace of Cups, realizing they love you. Ten of Cups, realizing that they were happy with you and could be happy again. So this is a person who the separation, believe it or not, has opened their eyes to what they've lost. And it's a matter of time that they realize that, you know what, I was better. I was better without you. I was better. <laughs> I thought I was going to be better without you. And I'm not, you know, and, and they get out there and all of a sudden they realize that, you know, my life is, is worse. My life, I'm hurt. I'm in pain. I'm, I'm missing you. So what else spirit? Let's see this. Um, this is so hard for me and I'm struggling. I do feel that I, I feel that I am, I, something has to change. You know, if we just look at this eight of wands as, as movement, okay. It, it is a, 
our energy is shifting, our energy is moving. And that if that's our hope today, and that's what we claim that your person changes their mind, that they are moving home towards you, that they're coming back towards you, then that's okay. If they realize that they've been, they've been struggling, that this is harder than they ever thought that it was going to be. I don't, I don't want anybody to suffer, but if it's helping them to feel their feelings and to realize that you mean more to them than they ever thought, then this separation was needed, this temporary separation. I hope you don't find out that I've been, been watching your social media. Um, I want to know what you're doing. I want to know who you're talking to. We need to talk about everything. That is really important, right? We need to talk. This page of swords, I like, the, I like this particular page on this deck because I like the path. I like the, I like the path and the path is coming towards me. OK, it's it's the, the perspective is it, this this page is getting bigger. It's not, um, you know, going in the perspective of it's getting smaller. So we need to talk. Right. I want to talk. How about I want to talk? You know, I want to talk. I, I've changed my mind. And that is the door opening that that I'm really happy about, because if this person wants to talk about finding a way home to you, finding their way back to you then that's all we're asking for today. That's all we're asking. Just let me hear your voice. Let me see your face. Let me see your body language. Let me hear it in your voice, you know, what it is that you want. And then I can, I can decide what it is that I want. True love is hard to find, but I did find it with you. I can find it again is how it's coming into me. I can find it again. I can find it again. That's beautiful. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. Sometimes we need to be reminded that not every separation is, yeah, bottom of my deck. Look, please forgive me. You know, is this, um, is this what we are asking for? Is this what Spirit wants for us? I'm grateful for this reading today because not every reading and not every separation is about hating each other, hurting each other, um, despising each other, never again. Um, a lot of times there are separations that we still love each other very, very much. And we are just trying to find our way back to each other. So that is the reading for today. And I'm grateful for that message because I, I want to lead with love and I want you to I want you to know that there's still love in this connection. So we'll put this out into the universe for today. And I want to thank Spirit for this message. If you're new to my channel, please remember to um, hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for your comments. Claim this reading. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please go to my website, kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.